in this question we are required to find the derivative of a power series and then the integral of the power series and find the values of x uh, where the resulting series converge okay so for what values of x do this series converge um, so what we can start with is um, by uh, checking the interval of convergence of what we want to um, differentiate or integrate so this bit here all right and this bit here so i mean from uh, previous examples if you look through my previous videos uh, so from previous examples the interval of convergence of uh, this series um, is negative infinity to infinity and we show this using the ratio test all right uh, hence you can go ahead and differentiate and integrate without any problem all right because those are some of the conditions that we have to check before we differentiate or integrate so I just write that down from previous examples Okay, um, so we can go ahead and differentiate and, and um, integrate. So, hence we can go ahead. And differentiate. All right, so let's start working through this. Let's start with the uh, uh, differentiation. Now, remember what I said when you're di differentiating? Um, let me just write it down before I mention about it. So we want to differentiate this series. Now, you can pass over... Um, Pass over the derivative sign inside the summation sign, so you can pass over, um, pass the derivative. Um, so you can pass over the derivative sign inside the summation. Um, let me just put that in a bubble. Some information for, for you. So we can go ahead and uh, we write this as just the way we did for uh, in integration in the previous example. So this will be um, the dx of x to the power n over n factorial okay now n factorial here is a dummy it's basically we are differentiating with respect to x so we can factor out n factorial if that makes sense uh, 1 over n factorial so d dx x to the power n now and then just apply power rule so this will be the sum from n is equals to 1 to infinity of um, n x uh, n minus 1 over um, n factorial now what we can do is um, we can simplify this expression 
Um, so <clears throat> we can write this as n is equals to 1 to infinity n x n minus 1 over now n factorial can be written as um, n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial so this case do cancel and we end up with sum from n is equals to 1 to infinity of x to power n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial okay so what next we have to find values of x uh, where the series converge okay so So find the interval of convergence, um, use ratio test. So what you're going to do here is S sub n is equal to x to power n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial. S sub n plus 1 will be x to power n over n factorial. All right, so, and then just plug this in um, the formula for ratio test. So, limit as n approaches infinity of uh, x to power n over n factorial divided by x to power n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial which will give me uh, the limit change um, that multiplication, get the reciprocal. Okay, what I'm going to do is just to rearrange this. Um, so x to power n over x to power n minus 1 multiplied by um, the numerator, I can re leave it as it is. But the denominator, I can write it as n into n minus 1 factorial so that I can cancel these guys out. And uh, the bit on uh, the left, I can just simplify that using uh, index loss. So what I'll end up with is um, this is just same as uh, x over n. Um, and this can be written as um, this can be written as um, uh, factorize out x absolute value of x. So limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n and that will be equal to 0 all right It'll just be equal to 0 what does that mean it means this series um, the resulting series after we differentiate the original series uh, converges for all values of x okay so we can say hence Okay, um, so we can carry on to the second part of this question, which is uh, finding the integral. Remember, that was just the first part of the question. The second part is finding this integral, okay, and I'll start it um, here. 
sum the integral 0 to x of this series. Um, again, you can pass the integral into um, the summation sign. So what we'll end up with uh, is the summation from n is equals to 0 to infinity integral 0 to x um, t to power n over n factorial dt. Now, just remember that um, we are integrating with respect to t. The n factorial can be factor factorized. Um, so we can have 1 over n factorial and then our integral um, t to power n dt. And then just apply the reverse uh, power rule because you are um, integrating. So this will be the sum from n is equals to 0 to infinity, 1 over n factorial, and then um, you can have t to power n plus 1 over n plus 1. And those are your limits. All right. If you plug in your limits, you'll end up with the uh, sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial and uh, just replace x in place of t x to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 0 which will just give us uh, Okay, we can simplify this um, because n factorial multiplied by n plus 1 is same as n plus 1 factorial. So this will just give us x to the power n plus 1 over um, n plus 1 factorial. Okay, and again, we have to check what values of x that this series um, con, um, converges. And you're going to use ratio test. Okay. Um, okay. We use ratio test. Okay, so again, L sub n is um, x to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. L sub n plus 1 will be equal to x to power n plus 2 over n plus 2 factorial. And we can plug that into our ratio uh, formula for ratio test. So the limit as n approaches infinity of x to power n plus 2 over n plus 2 factorial. Which gives us the limit Um, this will be equal to the limit of 
of uh, I'm just going to rearrange this guy so I'll have x to power n plus 2 over x to power n plus 1 multiplied by uh, x um, n plus 1 factorial over um, n plus 2 n plus 1 factorial because you can, you know, factorial sign means that uh, you can expand them that way. The whole idea is I want to cancel this off. And the first bit on the left can be simplified using um, index loss. So the limit as n approaches infinity of, uh, that will just be x over n plus 2. Take x out. Find the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n plus 2, which happens to be 0. Okay, so what that means is that um, the resulting series after uh, finding the, in, um, after integrating the resulting series converges for all values of x. So hence, um, 